Hello, it's Chad here from Logical Gamers, and I got really bored and couldn't fall asleep, so I decided to make an advanced password protection. It's not that advanced, it's just blocking someone out at a certain amount of login failures. It's really simple still. Follow the past password protection tutorial video I made a few hours ago. It's basically the same thing. Uh, after you make the GUI, text password, save the enter, double click the enter button. And go up to here where it says public partial class and then your project and whatever. You put int int num equals zero. That's the number of how many login fail failures that they have right now. And put int int wait equals sixty. Because if they get blocked out they're gonna have to wait sixty seconds. Int this little blue part right here, int is an integer, just so you guys know that. If you don't know that, I think you need to seriously go back to school and learn math. Alright, going back into the CMD enter coding and put if uh, text password dot text equal equals your password here, you don't put password um, quotations put message box that show you have gained access to this program. You don't even really need that. It's just something you might want to put. I'd never really put it if I had to do this. Then after this way you get into it when you start writing this stuff for the else function else if after you put the else in the bracket you're gonna want to put another if function in there. If Oh wait, hold up, my bad. You want to go right here and put int, int num equals int num plus one, and semicolon. And then you're gonna want to go right back to the if function and put if int num is greater than or equal to, let's say five. Then you're gonna want to message box that show you have been blocked out of this program for so many failed attempts to gain access some bullshit like that alright then you're gonna wanna disable the text password equals false the cmd enter dot enabled equals false the timer wait dot enabled equals true which we'll actually have to put that right now and then you're gonna if they didn't get blocked out or int num is not greater than or equal to five, we're just gonna wanna put message box that show <sighs> fail to gain access into program error. And then close that whole function set right there. And then we've gotta go back and add a timer. Or make it timer wait an interval of 1000 milliseconds which is one second and then this is where oops yo this is where it gets kind of weird int wait equals int wait minus one it's not really that weird but it's just kind of odd to me then you're going to put another if function if int weight is less than or equal to zero in brackets you're going to put the text password that enabled equals true cmd enter that enabled equals true and weight equals back to 60 and then you're going to put and num equals zero, so they have more attempts. And then we're gonna put the timer wait that enabled equals false. Message box dot show. Please try again. And then close the if function. Is that all closed? Yes, it is.
debug it and try it out. Let's put more random bullshit in here. Failed to gain access. That's like three times for the open block out of this program. So many failed attempts. And yes, I'm tired, so I know I fucked up that sentence right there. Failed to gain access. Now, just to wait 60 seconds. So, what can you really do for 60 seconds, huh? Well, you can just count up to 60 if you're really that bored. And I'm not really gonna do that. Oh, boredom sucks. It really, really, really does. If you have any questions, just comment or send me a message over Logical Gamers or post it in the video tutorial thread, which is sticky in the programming section in case you did not notice that. If you're not registered on Logical Gamers, you're going to have to register to be able to do any of that. Now, see, so you get the message box, please try again. Click OK, everything's enabled again, then try again. And then you have gained access to this program, blah blah blah. Alright. 